Today I'm going to do a video on how I swap connectors on batteries if they come with a JST and require a JST PH 2.0. And also, I'm just going to get this out of the way as a disclaimer. If you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Don't ruin your battery because of the way that I do this. Um, it works for me. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And also, I realize that I talk slow. So if that bothers you, come up here in the, the corner and increase the play speed. <clears throat> so the equipment that we're going to be using is soldering iron. Those do get hot, don't touch it. Um, we're going to need the right connector. These are the ones I found off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for those. It comes with male and female. These also work good for um, making like motor extension wires or battery extension wires if you need them. And then these um, heat shrink tube I found at my local hobby shop. And then these are the part numbers for that. For the red and the black. We'll also need some solder and flux. This is the key to getting this to work really well that I've found. So now we'll get started. Take your wire strippers, and I usually just cut about in the middle, one wire at a time. Do not cut both wires and strip both wires at the same time, because if they touch, you will have a bad day. And then strip a little back. that up like that if you want to leave that that long feel free I like to make them about the same length as as the original wire and I do apologize for my camera autofocus I'm just doing this for my phone don't have a nice camera for this yet so that about there. Strip that back. Twist it. Now at this point I'll go ahead and put my heat shrink on. Try and get it as far away from the where the heat's going to be as possible. Those I'm just kind of twisting together. opposite directions. If you've got big fingers this can be pretty difficult. But just do the best you can.
looks all right. So now what I like to do is take some of this. This is liquid flux. Go ahead and put a drop on the soldering iron tip. And then a drop or two on the wire joint. Go ahead and roll some solder out and just let it melt on there. And then this is the cool part, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now all you do is just set that on there. And it sucks it up just like that and you got a nice strong joint and you can slide your heat shrink up and shrink it down We can move on to the other side. Oops. There we go. And what you want is to end up with both of these wires the same length. So to do that, I like to give myself a little bit of extra to work with. And kind of overlap. Hold these together. So you can see kind of how much those two overlap. I'm going to go ahead and strip that back a little bit on each side. it up. Don't forget your heat shrink. Not a big deal if you do forget because you can always disconnect the wires there at that little, you can pull the wire out with that little tab. Whoa. You can pull the wire out of that little tab and slip it over. But it's usually just easier to remember to do it in the first place. So now we'll and even up the length of those wires and start twisting.
I'll go ahead and do the same thing. And put a little drop of flux on the wires. Put the iron on another drop. Some more tinned up there. Just let that get up in there nice and strong again. Slide your heat shrink over. Make sure it's kind of centered and then shrink it up. And that's it, you're done. Thanks for watching.